Now let us move on with the key terms in bug bounty program. First is hacker. A hacker is one who enjoys the intellectual challenge of creatively overcoming limitations. Now it can be a bad hacker, also known as a black hat hacker, or a white hat hacker who simply helps to eliminate the bad hackers. Depends upon the role and your intellectual ability and your goals. Hacker powered security. We have already seen hacker powered security in the last lecture and I would like to just put a light on it. Any goal oriented hacking technique that utilizes the external hacker community to find unknown security vulnerabilities and reduce cyber risk is known as hacker powered security. Common examples include private bug bounty programs, public bug bounty programs, time bound bug bounty programs, and more. Now, with hacker powered security testing, organizations can identify high value bugs faster with the help of the results driven through hacker community. What is hacker powered pen test? A limited access program where selected hackers apply a structured testing methodology and they may be rewarded for completing security checks is known as hacker powered security pen test. Which means in pen test you have to apply a typical methodology to find out the results and if the results are acceptable you will get paid. Now make sure that there are three types of bug bounty programs, public, private and time bound. Let us see what they mean. Public bug bounty program. It is a, an open program where any hacker can participate in for a chance at a bounty reward. Private bug bounty program has a limited access program that select hackers are invited to participate in for a chance at a bounty reward. For example, uh, you have a company which is not a multinational company but it's famous in your state. So that is a public bug bounty program where you know your security issues are not top priority notch or your security issues are not as critical as compared to those of Google and Amazon. In such cases, Google and Amazon, if they want to find critical bugs, they invite experienced hackers and they tell them to find out the bugs. That is known as a private bug bounty program. In case of public bug bounty programs, even you can participate. But in case of private bug bounty programs, if you are selected or invited to do so, then only you can participate. Next is time bound bug bounty program. It is a limited access program with a predetermined time frame where selected hackers have a chance at earning a bounty reward. Now generally time bound bug bounty programs have a high reward but also have a high risk because sometimes they have the charge hackers to participate in the programs. It's like a hackathon where you have a limited time and you are told to find the bug in the website. And if you do so, then they pay you according to your skills and the results that you have delivered. Then what is a vulnerability? Uh, vulnerability is a weakness of software, hardware or online service that can be exploited. Now what is VDP which is Vulnerability Disclosure Policy? An organization's formalized method for receiving vulnerability submissions from the outside world is known as vulnerability disclosure policy. It is sometimes referred to as responsible disclosure. This often takes the form of security at the rate email address. For example, if you are finding bugs for Google, then you have to report the vulnerability to security at the rate google.com. Now the practice is outlined in the DOJ framework that is Department of Justice United States for a vulnerability disclosure program for online systems and it is defined in ISO standard 29147. This was all for this lecture. 
Make sure you understand these terms because these are the most fundamental terms you will be needing while searching a public or a private bug bounty program. In the next lecture, we will see what exactly a bug bounty program is and how it works.